I've got a gig coming up, a comedy gig as opposed to me going to see a band or a DJ gig gig and I'm not looking forward to it. Um, not the gig itself, it's that the last time I performed at this particular venue I remember very clearly um, someone I was kind of with. Um, I was thinking about them on the whilst I was about to leave and on the walk home. You know, I was thinking about them and thinking, I'm so glad you're in my life. And um, you know, I checked on Messenger, the green light was on, so obviously they're talking with a friend. And the following afternoon, um, it just started popping up the RIP in their name. And you can know something intellectually, but it takes a while for your heart to know something. And grief is weird that way. And bereavement is weird. You, know, you get to that point and you just think, can I have 24 hours without crying? Or, you know, can I get through one week without crying? Or you think you're fine or over it and you're not. And it just grief, it, it lessens, but it just doesn't go like that. It's not like an optional extra. If you love someone, it's not if. When you love someone, it hurts and that's okay and sometimes bravery isn't about just conquering a mountain it's just that little step and, and I'm gonna do it and you're gonna do it if you're experiencing bereavement or grief and such and and it's okay that it doesn't hurt. it doesn't feel great and you and I and everyone just has to do things step by step by step.